when the whistle sounds and the ball kicks off Friday night. Make sure you force him onto the sideline, okay? Assistant coach Bryant Caleb will be back where he belongs. It's going to be big to to be able to go out on the field and coach this game because I missed it last year. This week marks one year since he was diagnosed with a rare form of blood cancer, only a few days before the season opener. A lot of people say, do you ask uh, why it happened to you? And I go, well, why not? No better than anybody else. The cancer weakened his immune system, forcing him to get a stem cell transplant. You know, last year I couldn't interact. In big groups, I couldn't go into big groups. But now, a year later, he's in remission and on his way to being cancer free. We went to not seeing him very much last year to seeing him pretty much every day this year. The players love having him back. Get your hands inside. Including his son, Patrick, who was their first father through it all. And now that he's he's been able to coach, he's uh, perked up a little bit and it's been, it's been awesome. Now that the coach is back, he's preaching a simple philosophy. You fight as long as you can fight. You do whatever you have to do. Well, just to make he sure hopes to inspire yeah, others okay. beyond the football field. A lot of people out there that's hurt with this disease. And I just would like to say you guys keep fighting. That if you keep with the fight, there's, there's something better at the end. So just hang in there.